Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and we are here in the series of Salesforce plus WhatsApp integration. So far in the series we have covered how to set up our Facebook application so that we can use that application to send the WhatsApp messages and then we have also seen how we can create the permanent access to token so that we don't need to refresh the token again and again after 24 hours if you have missed those videos the link is there in the first comment as well as in the description please watch those videos before you watch this video and before we go ahead and start implementing webhook please give it a like share subscribe also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel before we go ahead and talk about how we can implement webhook let's talk about what webhooks are so basically webhooks are automated messages which are being sent whenever there is any event happening it is like how paypal system tells your accounting system whenever the customers has made the payment or they have made the payment of any invoice that you have sent to them or if we talk about in another word how Tvilio is going to route your call whenever your customers are trying to connect you with the help of call center that you have provided a number and they are trying to dial you so those are this is just basic information about webhooks i'm not going to cover in the deep now let's talk about how we can configure webhook in our salesforce environment with the with this particular facebook application so while you are under this getting started phase of your application salesforce demo you will see there is a step number three which is saying that configure webhooks to receive the messages and there is a proper link if you click on this hyperlink it is going to take you to a webhook configuration page okay and then if you go to this resources or before you go to resources under configuration you will see there is no callback url or there is no verify token and if you click on edit it is going to ask you to add the callback url and verification token this callback url is going to be a public url which we are going to use or develop with the help of salesforce experience cloud that we can also say that salesforce digital experience community sites if you click on this hover over this is there is a question mark if you click on this it is going to take you to the documentation which we are going to follow in order to configure the webhook so if you see here there is a step number three which is saying that configure a webhook and then below that there is something called callback url i have read this document so i'm not going to read or even i'm not going to ask you to read this whole bunch of lines which has been developed or written by facebook developers there is a link called webhooks getting started this is a very important link which we are going to walk through which we are going to use over here and then there are two things we needed right if you get back over here callback url and verify token this is going to be some random number which you wanted to put random number or a string or the combination of numbers and a string and this callback url is going to be a public url which we are going to develop with the help of experience cloud again we are just going to click on this webhooks getting started this is really important for us to configure this point okay then there is first thing which says that creating an endpoint we will take this step later on before we'll talk about this verification request so what happens whenever you provide the callback url for example you provide a url this url to your here webhook configuration and you provide some test url over here sorry test characters or numbers okay something like this and if you click on verify and save what it will do is it will make a call out to this url particular uh, it, is, it is going to make a http call out and then it will act, uh, like uh, expect some value in return from the system in our case our system is going to be salesforce url is going to be of salesforce okay so it will expect something so what it is expecting from us to return is which is written over here in the document so this is the exact call out which is being made this is going to be your url 
then hub dot mode is going to be subscribe hub dot challenge some random numbers hub dot verify token this is our token which we will provide over here in this text box then here if you see the description parameter value sample value subscribe description this value will always be set to subscribe then it says that how dot challenge it says that an integer you must pass back to us so that means what we have to do is we have to get this hub dot challenge and send it back to salesforce so that salesforce will say okay okay i have sent this challenge to you now you are returning the same i'm going to compare if both are same then only i will say that handshake the web hook connection is established established successfully okay so this is what we are going to do here so first what we'll do is we will create a class i have already created a class which says that global class whatsapp webhook okay then there is a simple method and before i talk about this method let me talk about this class so this class is made as a rest resource if you see on the top rest resource url mapping equal to this is just a sample url which i try to put you can try to put some other url okay for example you can try to put url like this but for me this is what i wanted to have now why we are making this class as a rest resource so the reason is this particular url here when we click on this verify and save it is going to make an http request so where it will make a http request that url must be publicly exposed and must be available as a web service that is why we said okay we are developing a custom web service with the help of apex rest resource and then under rest resource there will be methods multiple methods like get or post or patch delete or there could be other methods as well but these are few standard methods of any http service so that's why we we have used over here a global make sure any class which you are annotating as a rest resource must be set to global and this is the method must be set to global static return type could be anything in my case i'm saying do get okay we are saying this at this is annotated as at the rate http get okay this will consider as get request if i annotate the same method as at the rate http post then this will consider as post request so whenever i will hit the url from browser get request will be hit will consider as get if i'm sending something from the body then post request will be hit and this method will be executed okay for the get this is annotated that's why this method will be executed in our case if you go to the document you will see the method is get that means it is sending a get request not post request okay and then what we did is okay we said whatever the response we are getting under a, there is a class called rest context and under that class there is a variable called response and this response variable is again a type of another class called rest response so we said that okay give us whatever the response we are getting then give us whatever the request we are getting okay and then here what i said is i said request this is our request which we are receiving okay and this is the response which we will be sending back to facebook so we said the request dot parameters these are the parameters which will get okay and then we will say dot get hub dot verify token this is again hub dot verify token is the value which we will be putting over here so what we are saying is if this particular value is equivalent to the value which we have inside of access token okay instead of act, uh, instead of a custom label i'm going to use value in the single quotes okay so this is a static value and the same static value we will be using over here and then we say if this is equal that means whatever we have given the token in facebook the same token we are getting in the request then we will say okay response dot response body written blob dot value of request dot parameters dot get 
this is the value which we need to return hub dot challenge this is the value which we need to return and that is what we are returning over here just the simple four or five lines of code that we have to develop as a part of apex class next that we need to do develop is we need to create a community site to do that or even we can create a site that is also going to work for us so i am logged into salesforce logged into salesforce click on this gear icon and navigate to setup and then here what you can do is you can search for all sites and if you don't have enabled the site then you might need to enable sites i'm not going to walk you through how to enable i'm just going to see how to create a site okay i already have these four two five and four sites okay so to create that click on new and once you click on new you will see there are multiple options right we can select anyone which we want so for now i'm going to select this help center and then we'll click on this get started button there might be a pop up if you click on that click on start now here it will ask the name i'll say salesforce whatsapp i'm not going to give any name over here and then i'll say make this help center live i'll just check this checkbox click on next okay it is asking some name okay so i'll say whatsapp this is my url click on next and then it is going to take some time to make your create your community make uh, and make that community live we just need to wait for a couple of minutes and once our community is ready we will be able to do the further step now it is asking for me to select article topics if you see that you don't need to select anything click on next then it is asking choose your article author if you want you can select your user click on next and then this is again list customers to contact you leave as it is whatever it is there click on next so now our community is ready we just need to click on finish and once we click on finish you will see that we will get redirected to the workspace of our salesforce digital experience community which we just created now this is act2 plus published if you see here on the top or uh, if you want to check it click on this administrator and then here under settings we will see our community is active and this is the home page url of our community now what you need to do is go to pages and from pages you need to click on go to force.com so what we are doing here is now as a part of next step which is third step giving the access to this public profile for our apex class so we have developed the apex class we created the community now we will provide that apex class access to our guest user so that they can access it once you are here under the site detail click on this public access settings and then here on the top you might find this enabled apex class accesses if you don't find you can use control f and you can search for apex class and you will easily see that over over and click on edit and then here we have to find our class which is whatsapp webhook select this click on add and then again click on save now we have created our community we have added the class as a public access next step is we need to test this community either our apex class has got the access or not so again this administrator page is already opened i will get back go to the settings and this is my url okay i'll just go ahead and copy this url open a new tab i'll paste that url and then i will say forward slash services and then we'll say apex rest forward slash so this is again what service we wanted to access this is the service name apex rest and now what is the url so this is the url which we wanted to access so the url which we have given on on the top of our class hit enter so if you see a blank page without any error that means our url is working fine copy this url now as a part of step 4 we'll get back to our application our facebook application and then in the callback url again i'll take you to the place while you are under whatsapp under configuration you will see there is a webhook click on edit for the callback url put whatever url you have copied 
and for the verified token get back to your class and find whatever the word you have written over here under if condition and then again get back to your application put that verified token and click on verify and save it will send the request and if your token is valid you will see the things are here we are able to see this now there is webhook field we have configured the webhook now we need to tell when we wanted to listen the webhook what are all the events so for that we'll click on manage and then here say that for example we wanted to configure our webhooks for messages so we'll click on subscribe phone number name and update we'll click on subscribe there is there you could like account update or you could say account review right these are some of the fields the out of all these important one is messages because this is going to give us the detail about whenever a user is sending a message sending a reply uh, hitting on some interactive messages that we have sent so this is going to be the one which we are going to see and if you click on test button there is a test button if you click on test you will also see that message has been successfully sent without any error okay then click on done once you click on done you will also see that all the events are updated here under webhook fields so this is how basically you quickly go ahead create your webhook okay you you have already added webhook over here with the help of salesforce apex rest services as well as with the help of our digital experience site how to test this webhook we will see in the coming video so this is it for this video thank you for your time and again i would like you to put what you are looking for, for from this series put into the comment section and i will try to definitely make this series take to a different label what you are looking so that i can help you in your personal technical as well as in your career goals so this is it again thank you for your time and please don't forget to like share subscribe as well as also press the bell icon thank you